Hi everybody, welcome to this lesson on how to design custom figure tips for your gripper. Uh, my name is Mathieu Belange Barrette, I'm the CNC machine tending expert at Robotique. Uh, today what we're going to go through is basically uh, how to do um, custom design for a particular part. So we're still in the designing phase. Um, we want to grasp this uh, particular part uh, since there is no real uh, feature uh, that we can grasp correctly. We want to do uh, customization uh, basically because of the taper here and the, the really small uh, section, uh, really small cylinder here. So um, since you took time to choose your gripper correctly, I think it's really important to customize your fingertips to have a, a really solid grip and to have a more reliable process uh, once you go into production. Um, so today what we're going to work with is uh, the interface um, of the two finger gripper and the ND gripper. Um, so we're going to use uh, actually the, the interface in between the fingertips and the gripper. Uh, we'll use a M5 screw and two uh, M2 dowel pins. So we need to fit that into our, uh, into our uh, design. Uh, also, um, I'm designing uh, in a, in a way that uh, we we actually want to print the fingertips, not uh, not machine them. So uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, subtract one part to the fingertips blank, uh, so we can print it uh, directly. Uh, just make sure to adjust the dimension to your uh, 3D printing setting. So as you might have uh, as you might know, uh, once you print. Uh, there is some shrinkage in the, um, in, and there is actually a difference between your uh, what you design and what you print. So just make sure to design accordingly. Uh, so what we're gonna do first is design a blank that you can reuse for further uh, further design, and then we're gonna uh, do the custom figure tip for that particular part. So I just created a new part. What I'm gonna do is uh, basically a square of 25 millimeter by 25 millimeter. I'm just making sure that the square is centered into my working space. So today I'll be using SolidWorks, but uh, most of the feature uh, are available in any type of uh, uh, designing software. So 25 by 25. And then since I want to grab a, a relatively long part, uh, I'm just going to do a 60 millimeter extrusion. Um, <clears throat> just to make sure that we don't have too much um, material on the fingertips, I'm just going to remove some stuff in here. So if we keep a 12 millimeter distance here, this is enough. Then I know from previous design that the angle here is about 140 millimeter. And here I'm gonna leave about 15 millimeter. So we're starting to see a little bit more of our fingertips coming alive. Uh, I'm just going to create a reference plane here. And I'm going to start my uh, screw hole from that, uh, from that exact plane. So I'm just going to select that. 
use the whole wizard. Uh, it can be called different name depending on your of your software. Um, and what comes with the with the finger uh, with the gripper is um, a socket head cap screw M5. So this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna add to my design choosing this plane and placing the hole at exactly 5.3 millimeter from the surface um, just want to tell you that <clears throat> I've had a an extra six millimeter clearance to the regular um, screw hole, so that we can clear the the screw head correctly. Once this is done, uh, and to avoid any type of rotation of the finger, I'm just gonna <coughs> just gonna insert the dowel pin hole on each side. Of the screw hole and we're dealing with M2 dowel pin and since we're 3d printing uh, I'm just gonna uh, <clears throat> design the finger just a little bit bigger so that the pins can fit correctly making sure it, oh. just making sure everything is aligned and centered know that the distance in between the dowel pin hole is nine millimeter and we're also 5.3 millimeter to the surface And since we're using fairly small dowel pins, uh, just a 2.5 is enough to to clear the whole pin, so that'll be good. And I'm just gonna add a small chamfer here. Again, since we're printing those fingers, just want to make sure the pins are are getting to the hole correctly. So this is our uh, this is our blank finger. I'd like to insert a couple couple radius here and there just to make sure that it looks good. And that's it. So you can save this as being your blank. So once this is done, uh, we want to import the custom part and subtract some, uh, actually remove some material from the fingertips blank. So in SolidWorks, what, what we're going to do is insert a part. The only part that is open in my SolidWorks software is the custom part. So this is why it appears. Now what, I'm, what I want to do is have this uh, have the bottom of the fingertips clear the surface here of about 0.5 millimeter and grab the rest of the, of the part using the larger section of the finger. So what I'm gonna do is add a couple mates. And 
here I want to have a small distance in between the center of the part and the fingertips so when when the gripper closes uh, both finger don't touch each other so you can have enough enough uh, force to grab the part correctly then I'm gonna center the part into the finger and as you can see we have the part uh, colliding with the fingertip we have a small clearance here in between uh, the two parts and I made sure that the uh, the hole here was not into the fingertips since we're doing a subtract function we don't want the hole to be uh, to be printed into the into the finger so <clears throat> once this is done I'm gonna insert a combine feature selecting the main body as being the fingertips and the body to subtract being the part just making sure that the subtract button is selected and once this is done we have the part being subtract to the finger again uh, 3d printing you don't want to have too much sharp edges because it's gonna it's not gonna look good um, so I'm just gonna remove those those sharp edges here and yeah we're uh, we're good to go with that uh, with that design just to make sure that the uh, that everything fits together I'm gonna create an assembly Just a quick assembly, making sure that everything fits together. I'm gonna use the same 0.5 millimeter distance. As you can see, it fits really good. And if I insert the, the second fingertips, You can see that there's a, a good distance in between the fingers so they don't touch each other when closing against against a part and um, if I change the transparency of this part you can see that the fit is really good you have a solid grip on the part and you can uh, you can go on with that uh, with that design again um, when you're gonna print a uh, custom figure tip, just make sure that everything is adjusted according to your 3D printer. Um, there's some printer that shrink more than others, so just make sure to uh, print your first uh, your first set of fingers, test everything, and uh, if you if you if you don't think it's uh, it's good enough, just print another set, and uh, you don't want to. Uh, to drop apart during your your production so just make sure everything is is grasping the part correctly so thanks to uh, to have listened to me in that uh, lesson on how to design a custom fingertips <laughs>